encouraging, you know, uh, the comments that he was giving me, the directions he was showing me, and the advice was very much, and it was good. This research would not, would not be possible if he was not by my side. So, Dr. Please, thank you very much, you know, with great love and respect. So, <coughs> the other, uh, I would like to uh, provide my thanks to my family, friends, and colleagues from Dunga College and also Haras uh, University. They were very much supportive and encouraging, you know. So, as you know, there are lots of up and downs, you know, while studying this uh, program. So, all these important bodies were very much supporting me. So, that's why I'm able to come up in front of you and present my uh, paper here. So, thank you very much, Paul. So, now let me go, let me go to, to my title. My title is about the credibility and presence of hostility in the Ethiopian uh, regional, federal, regional uh, private and federal television channels. So these are the television channels which are included in my study. There is ATV or ABC, Pana, Walter, uh, Amara Television, uh, Adis Television, and OVM. These are the television channels which are included. So that's why I just put them in the first uh, picture. So my, uh, to, 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 uh, before rushing to the each details, I would like to uh, uh, go through the contents of my presentations. I have included uh, the background of the study just a little bit, and <coughs> research questions, and the conceptual frameworks, mythology, a little bit about it, and the result at the end all goes to the uh, recommendation that I uh, recommended uh, based on the results of the study. So I hope you enjoy my presentations, and at the end, I'll, I'm very much happy to uh, uh, receive your feedbacks, questions, and comments. So let's uh, enjoy my presentations. So in in, in Africa, uh, in Africa, it is uh, the television channels are the number of the television channels are increasing. Even though it's increasing, the television channels are becoming even not even the television channels. The media outlets are becoming skeptic of the fairness, accuracy, and balance in reporting news. So Ethiopia is among the African countries that is uh, uh, showing the rise in the numbers of uh, television channels, television channels, the private and the federal television channels. So this is uh, what the uh, study means to find out. So that's based on the uh, the, the reasons mentioned about this research has provided answers for the following uh, questions. The first is to finding out how the audience perceive the, uh, 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 the their own regional television channels and also perceive the other regional television channels and <coughs> the federal and the private television channels but also uh, how audiences how audiences evaluate the private regional and television channels and also this research has also provided answers for the reasons in finding out uh, the best for regional and television channels. And also, another thing is that uh, this research also tried to find out the audience perception of the presence of social media phenomenon in the television channels. And at the end, this research also tried to find out the relationship that the audience's perception of credibility and the presence of social media, if there is a relationship between the credibility and the media phenomenon. So I hope you will enjoy the reason, the results. So regarding the conceptual framework, here I have uh, provided kind of the conceptual framework of the study. Here there is certain channels. So in this study, purposefully I have included three uh, <coughs> sectors of certain channels. It's private, uh, federal, private, and regional. So there is audience perception here. So uh, regarding all the perceptions, uh, I, will, uh, I, will, I will present how the audience perce the perceived credibility of the television channels. Here also the standard uh, phenomenon, how the audience perceive the hostility that is going on in different regional, private and federal television channels. At the end, the reasons for their own ratings of the credibility and the reasons for uh, the perception of those standard phenomena. So at the end, there is reason. I will, I will come up with a reason for the audience perception of credibility and host media phenomena. I hope you'll enjoy the results and you'll like it. The, the other uh, content is that methodology. So this research has employed uh, 
explanatory spatial mixing method design. Uh, uh, this uh, design is chosen because it is planned to uh, measure all the content, the uh, result <coughs> of the quantitative result. This plan <coughs> to design the quantitative uh, questions. That's why uh, this design is chosen. So regarding sample size, uh, purposefully uh, this research has included the Amara, Oromia, and Addisaba, uh, uh, the Amara, and Oromia, and Sava City as, uh, uh, as research places. This, this areas are included based on their uh, past and present political uh, influence in the country and their substantial population size. That's why these places are uh, included. So regarding the same picture as I have, uh, before starting the uh, presentation, I have uh, told you which three pictures are included. So 600 respondents are uh, purposely included, 19 uh, also included for the interview, from the 600 respondents. These respondents are included with snowball and confidence sampling. <coughs> so regarding data collections, this study, we have, uh, this study has included uh, used survey questions and semi structured interviews. So uh, in the questionnaire, demographics, uh, credibility, and social media, uh, uh, social media uh, uh, issues were uh, measured using the CAS scales. So the uh, question were adopted from different international studies you know, regarding credibility and the social media phenomenon. And also, semi structures in terms of also, also, uh, also uh, applied using based on the results of the quantitative studies. So, regarding the data collection procedures, uh, paper where <coughs> paper was taken, a letter was taken from uh, the school to to uh, uh, make the respondents cooperate with the researcher. And even though I've taken the letter, they were much they, they were very much afraid to to give what they view regarding the television channels because it's sensitive. Because media and politics are unsupportable, so they were very much afraid. And I was also to just communicate with them that, that I'm going to use the results or their view for just the purpose of uh, research. So through such communications, I was able to get very important uh, uh, replies from the uh, respondents. <coughs> So regarding the method of data analysis and interpretations, uh, this research has uh, uh, applied the, uh, the lessons version of SPSS and Atlas uh, TI to analyze the quantitative data. Regarding the tests, the, like, the non-parametric tests, uh, test, tests were applied, like monitoring tests, marketing tests, and other others. And the other is to interpret, to analyze the uh, data, the classical value theory were applied. This theory, uh, this, this approach uh, employed in the study because it's more of objective rather than others' approach of uh, the value. Based on the p-value, which is 0 0.00, is less than level of significance. So we reject the, real, the null hypothesis, so there is significant difference in the journal's credibility among different uh, <coughs> regional television channels. <coughs> so this is the point. <coughs> to find out where the difference lies, uh, so we did the 1% right -like test exactly. You know, if there's a difference between OB and Amara television, if there's an exact difference between Addis television and OBN. So we did a uh, 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 Wilcoxon rank test. So, but, <coughs> but this research has found out that there's no significant difference between OBN TV and Addis TV. So as you see the result here between OBN and Addis TV, it's about level of significance which is 0 0.5. So here the result is 0.267. So there's no difference in regarding the perception of audiences on, on, on OBN and Addis TV. So to find out which television channel is exactly more credible than the other one, uh, <coughs> we have compared the journal credibility by the mean rank. So here, as you see, here as you see, the mean rank is uh, put here. So between all the uh, Amara television found to be more credible than OBN, 
when you see the Addis Terbi and Amahara. So uh, uh, Addis uh, Amahara Terbi. So <coughs> rather is the audience uh, perception regarding the new credibility of each regional Terbi among each regional Terbi regional. So the, here the word person test also apply, and also. <coughs> Uh, it's found to be there is significant difference between uh, each and each and every regional term in China. So based on the minerals here, as you see, between Obi and Amhara, Obi are found to be more credible than Amhara regarding the meat content. And also between Addis TV and Amhara, here Addis TV found to be more credible than the Amhara term in China. Here between uh, <coughs> Addis TV and Obi. Here, OBN found to be more credible than uh, <coughs> Addis TV. So, uh, <coughs> the other, the third one is media credibility among the regional television. This was uh, applied to see, in general, if there is difference among each and every regional television channel. So, there is difference uh, uh, between all the channels regarding the media credibility. So to, to see which uh, television channel is, is more credible than the other one, well, we have compared the mineral. So here, as you see, uh, between Obi and Amhara, Obi are found to be more credible than uh, Amhara television. And as you see, uh, Addis television found to be more credible than, credible than Obi. And here, Addis, between Addis television and Amhara, so Addis television found to be more credible than <coughs> Amhara. That was the result uh, test. The other is uh, the overall reliability ratings uh, of the private federal energy television channels. So we have presented uh, the results based on the journal uh, news and media credibility. So uh, here we see uh, regarding journal's credibility, it's found to be there's no significant difference uh, between the uh, journalists working in region in federal media, so there's no difference. The audience have no any different perception regarding the journalists working in different level. Uh, there's no significance. So, according to the mirror agree that the audience trust the private and federal television channels more than the common in, two, in the two television channels. Regarding uh, Addis Television and Amhara, there is significant difference. Regarding OVN and Addis TV, there is also significant difference. So, uh, and also here, uh, I have, uh, I, we have used, uh, apply, apply, uh, applied uh, the, mineral, uh, the mineral test to compare which television channel is more, uh, more of, uh, uh, more of uh, the hostility to more, more than the other one. So, we have compared here. Here, the Amahara found to be more of uh, near to hostility than at this stage. And here, uh, the OVN found to be more involved in hostility than a distinct when you see the result of a uh, mirror test. So, the other is the overall audience uh, perception of uh, the presence of social uh, media. So, among the uh, regional and private television channels, and private uh, regional television channels, they found to be a significant difference regarding the, hosting, the audience perception of so uh, the general mirror the, the general mirror test uh, among the, the private uh, among the regional private regard, uh, shows that there is a uh, uh, difference. So the regional television channels found to be more involved with hosting than the regional television channels. <coughs> so that's what the uh, general is the result. Uh, tells regarding the hostile media phenomena. Uh, so we have also checked the relationship that uh, credibility and hostility. The relationship that we have to we have tried to check the if there is a relationship between uh, if there is a relationship between hostile media phenomena and credibility and shows that there is really relationship. And also we have also tried to check if there is a relationship between the three types of uh, credibility, that's uh, news, uh, uh, source, and media credibility, and the results show that there is really relationship. 
So the, the uh, result shows that regarding the three types of uh, credity, uh, when, when, <coughs> when, uh, uh, but regarding with the credibility and hostility, it shows that there is inverse relationship. When the credibility increases, the host time media phenomenon also decreases. But when uh, credibility decreases, the hostility issues increases. But regarding with the three types of uh, media credibility, when medium, uh, the medium uh, credibility increases, it is likely to uh, 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 see increasement in news and human okay. credibility. Look at you have three minutes. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Uh, regarding with the reasons with, let just let me just explain this in short. Regarding with the uh, quantitative results, regarding the reasons, uh, the audience ratings of credibility and the phenomena. So this is a picture that I have uh, tried to come up with. So there is a country oriented uh, television channel here. So there is polarizations, which is, uh, which is found from the data, the quality data found. There is uh, uh, polarization, biasness, unfairness, uh, unfairness, cause of conflict, lack of diversity. These are the stones. This is a, so there is a big stone here. It's a country oriented television channel. So this channel throws what? Stones. These polarization stones, violence, unfairness, cause of conflict, lack of diversity. These stones are thrown to the media television, the television channels. Yeah? So here, the, uh, the house, the television houses are trying to what? They are trying to, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> they are shake. trying to shake, shake yeah. Oh, here, here are the television channels here. We are the consumers. So these uh, categories are emerging from the country or in television channels. This is a theory that I have come up with. So uh, maybe based on your question later, I may, I may, I may answer, uh, I may come up with some uh, answers. So based on the results, ladies uh, and gentlemen, based on the results, I have recommended around 10 points for the response of logic. The first one is government and media organizations should prepare and organize immediate literacy education for each and every uh, level of schools. The other is uh, <coughs> different responsibilities should prepare short media literacy training, video and pictures which can be available on social media and televisions. And the third one is television channels should try to understand the interest and uh, preference of the people and play a watchdog role for the public as a whole. The other is the television channels should have eth eth ethical and professional diversity by journalists in each and every private, regional, and private television channels. The other is the government should work. It's best to establish media organizations which are free from the control of its own politicians. <coughs> the other uh, recommendation is that the television channels should make sure to have a high quality content in terms of being fair, unbiased, and uh, accurate. And the television channels should try to prepare media evaluation research for the betterment of their media organizations. This should be a culture of each and every media organization form in our country. So the government, in collaboration with other stakeholders, should prepare an active policy for an equal treatment and representation of ethnic, cultural, and religious minorities within each media to 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 remove and to to decrease the current ethnification and the polit uh, ethnic politics of ethnic politics that's going on in the country. The other is the media organization should work on the societal integration and cohesion instead of working on working on dividing. Finally, it's recommended that future research be developed to include the whole regional states found in the country, in addition to including other types of media outlets like FM radios, newspapers, television channels. So, thank you very much. This is uh, shortly. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Uh, you know, the merit of this, this history, which is basically one page long. You know, I mean, uh, so I think. Um, I would suggest that you revisit it. And maybe it is good, good to remove it uh, altogether. I don't think anybody is there is any relevance of that kind of stuff. Now. Headings in chapter 3 and chapter 4 seem to be very similar. So there's kind of monotony. When someone is um, looking at your analysis of chapter 3 and the headings that you're using, you're copying exactly the same kind of copies when you're doing your chapter book, which is basically a discussion. So I think you may try to think and come up with some kind of a different way of phrasing it. Um, <clears throat> it. It would be good to explain which theory 
informs which is this questions. You have a number of theoretical frameworks that are used. But unless someone is making a guess, uh, there is no any articulation that this the theoretical frame is used in order to inform X and Y Z such questions. If you explicitly do that, I think the reader would understand that, well, this guy understands what he's talking about. So I think that is missing. So um, I would suggest that you look at that too. Now to more substantive comments and questions. <clears throat> well, your theoretical framework, let's begin with that. The social responsibility theory and um, social judgment theory. And self-categorization theory, are, these are the theoretical frameworks that you use. Um, let's begin with the first one, social responsibility theory. Well, you have clearly outlined you know, the historical evolution of um, how it is an offshoot of liberalism. Um, and then how it came about, especially in uh, an established free market democracy such as in the US. Uh, so the responsibility of the social responsibility that media has, um, so on, it is from the side of the media that it has a responsibility to, to the broader society, and this is, this is mainly in a, in an established free market democracies. Now, the media organizations that you are selecting now. Uh, in fact, there are some issues that you need to really uh, look at again. You're talking about private, and then which private? Is Fana private in the first place? Is Walta private? These are politically owned party media. So it's kind of quasi-commercial. They're not really private. So I think even the word, whether you need to use commercial or private, uh, I have a lot of comments in the, in the text. So I think you need to really carefully look at those words. Uh, you're talking about the federal. Uh, are very vague, vague terms, and, and I think for a lot of uh, people who do not really understand the context of it here, but it just it get confused when uh, those phrases are being used. So, in the you are looking at government control, government-owned federal state media and regional state media, and um, the quasi-commercial media which you to refer to as. So, in this kind of climate, can we really expect? to adhere to the dictates of, uh, I mean, a social responsibility theory concept. And that, is, that is what you try to apply. But in that, this context, really, do you really expect the media to really shoulder social responsibility theory concept in an environment <coughs> where the selected media, basically media is controlled by the government? Because there is a control and you know regulatory issues going on, so the political economy aspect of it is basically there. So how free are they in the first place with respect to this? It is because of digital media, uh, as as most of my uh, informants mentioned, that it is because of digital media that the broadcast media is losing the credibility and becoming a major <coughs> source of hostility. So, uh, so I've tried to find out uh, the impact how digital media is impacting the. Uh, television channel of the broadcast media through so positive media. The other is uh, the effect of edge in my result is that as I've tried, I've used the sobol and communist sample to include such varieties in my studies. And the placement of my study area was universities on each and every research area. So I was using universities. So there, uh, and different teachers were helping me in finding out the right response for my research, who are more of uh, the audience who watch televisions. So I was, I was, uh, I was not spacing in finding or in including different parts in my study. That means age, gender, different background. So I was technically using these two uh, sampling uh, techniques in finding out uh, different varieties in my study. Another is uh, regarding my hypothesis. Uh, Thank you.